Cause it's Steph. And B. And today we're wandering around Monticello, Georgia, um, where... They filmed. <laughs> <laughs> where my cousin Vinny was filmed. <laughs> We're standing right across the street from the courthouse where they had the court case. There's the courthouse. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what this sign says. Jasper County Courthouse, erected 1907. It's an old building, Liam, 1907. Don't forget the motorcycles. Uh, we, not that building, they're closed today. Oh, coffee shop, vanilla bean coffee shop. I like the name of that store, Five Loaves. Which one's like a lighter um, coffee, would you think? I would assume like the, oh, that one's like caramel. Yeah. The pen stuff. Oh, Ooh. Like, um, I don't know, I might try that one. Groot. I am Groot. Hello, ma'am. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I would probably cry. I'd be really sad if I dropped my coffee. Unfortunately, something happened with our audio here. I'm not quite sure what. I um, think we hit a button or something that that um, stopped the audio and made the video record in slow motion. So I had to speed it up a little bit and, you know, work my magic on it. But here we are nonetheless. Um, this was a cool little toy shop in Monticello, Georgia. Um, unfortunately, the toy shop is no longer there. Um, we went back, I think it was like a, a week or two later and it was no longer there. However, the clock shop in the back is still there from what I understand. Um, these clocks were really, really cool. I grew up, um, my pop-up was a jeweler and watchmaker, so maybe it runs in my blood, but clocks are just very interesting to me. They had a couple of cuckoo clocks in the house um, that I just, I loved, you know, being a kid and watching a cuckoo clock, cuckoo was one of the coolest things you can experience. Um, my mom has one of those cat clocks in black that my aunt got for her. But um, these clocks here, you press the button and they play music, which of course didn't record, but you can see uh, visually how the numbers move. It's, it's so neat. Um, I did capture the cuckoo clock cuckooing, however, again, there's no sound, so you'll just have to imagine the cuckoo. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend anytime that you're in Monticello, Georgia, stop and buy this shop. Um, it is like right around the corner from the courthouse um, where my cousin Vinny was filmed, where their court scenes were filmed. The cuckoo clock, so cuckoo. There's my best version of the cuckoo.
So just for like a little backstory on Monticello, Georgia, um, it is probably about an hour or so from Atlanta. Um, it is really close to where Fried Green Tomatoes was filmed. So anytime we go to, um, to Juliet, we actually have to go through Monticello. But it was founded in 1808 as the seat of the newly formed Jasper County. The city was named after Monticello, the estate of Thomas Jefferson. It was incorporated as a town in 1810 and as a city in 1901. Here is where Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei's characters had a couple of meals in the movie. Um, I believe it's where she may have stumped out when they had an argument. Um, I think it's still an operational restaurant. It just wasn't open the day that we drove by it. Look at him, look at him. Oh He's climbing the pole. Oh my goodness, all the lambs, all the sheep. Yep, they're all sheep. They've all been sheared. Or the goat. Well, we turned around like this. <laughs> I... <laughs> you talking about me? Oh, the goats. You see all the goats? Mound of prehistoric origin, believed to be a ceremonial mound made with white quartz rocks in the shape of an eagle head turned to east length 102 feet, spread of wings 120 feet, depth of breast 8 feet, only two such configurations discovered in east of the Mississippi River. Both are in Putnam County. How are you doing? Yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a long wait. <laughs> So according to Google, the famed Rock Eagle Effigy Mound is located near Eatonton, Georgia. Built in the shape of a gigantic bird, which is an eagle, it is thought to be some 2,000 years old. 2,000 years old. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. 
So you know we couldn't come to this part of Georgia without coming to Juliet, home of the fried green tomatoes and the Whistle Stop Cafe from the movie. We absolutely love this little town. They have the cutest little shops. I will say if you're gonna come here and eat, the food is amazing, amazing. But make sure you get here and put your name on the list as soon as you get here. We got here at noon and you can see there's a lot of people waiting. We were about number 14 down the list. I think it's been like 40 minutes and we're number nine. But yeah, lots of good choices, food on the menu. Check out our video, fried green tomatoes video. There's a lot more in that video of this town. We show the dam over there. I don't know if you can see it, but where part of the movie was filmed. Uh, Ruth and Iggy's house is up there, that little white house, I think. Um, the Opry house where they had the play. The train station is around the corner here. See. Yeah, the train station's over there. It was in the movie, which in the movie, the train station was actually over there where that railroad equipment machinery is. Uh, they placed it there for the movie, but it resides over there. But yeah, check out that video, the fried green tomatoes video. Um, lots of good stuff in that video. Here we are at the Jarrell Plantation Historic Site. We're gonna go walk around, see what they have out here. Here's a little map of the Herbs. Herbs. Oh, look at the painting, Liam. Dude, that's cool. And then chicken food. Bow Weevil Eradication Program. This was Dick and Mamie Gerald's family garden. Many of the same vegetables and flowers are still planted here today as part of the interpretive garden, including corn, okra, squash, tomatoes, peas, gourds, marigolds, and sunflowers. Crops like cotton and sugarcane are also grown here to illustrate the types of cash crops that were grown in this part of Georgia. Do you see the cotton, Liam? That's what makes your clothes. Did you know that? Yeah, the white stuff, that's what makes your clothes. That makes your clothes? Yeah. I hear the train. What do you see? See an outhouse. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Just kidding. Oh, look at the chicken. Hi, Is that how they talk? Hey. Hello. Hello. Oh, will you hear him? Hey guys. <gasps> Here's another chicken. They're coming out from underneath the coop. The chicken house, 1912. Oof, that's an old building, Liam. This building sheltered chickens from foxes, possums, bobcats, and weasels. It also provided laying boxes for the hens. Oh, look. Hi, guys. This is 
Liam's heaven, huh? Yeah. Hey guys. Oh, like a tool shed yeah. or a canning, canning shed. That's kind of cool. Do the laundry and then do the <laughs> ring it out. I'm good at the cooking. So you're gonna cook. I'll do the laundry, I guess. There's a kitty kitty. Okay, yeah, so that house is 1885? Mm -hmm. 1895. Oh, 1895. Well shelter, 1870. 40 foot deep well was dug by men hired by John Gerald. They worked with pick, shovel, and blasting powder to break through the rock. A clothes washing shed and Trow for animals once stood nearby the pine mule tree, which is now a stump. This must be the stump. I don't know why he had a black rock and did all that stuff right there. He's just a perfectly good little hose right here. <sighs> they wasted a lot of time for that, didn't they? <laughs> There's another house up here. That's like a half stone and half brick fireplace.
friend is coming, Liam. He's coming to see you, bells and all. Come on, little kitty kitty. See him walking? <laughs> he might be looking for his kitty cat. You think maybe he's calling for the kitty kitty? Evaporator house. Yeah, I think he was still hunting. Engine house. Oh, cool. I wonder if that thing still cranks up. Come on, buddy. Well, he's doing kitty cat stuff. implement shed. Oh cool, they got like a wagon of some sort in here. That was like the tractor back in the day or maybe the combine. <laughs> Sort of green. The goat has come out to play, so I'm making a beeline. <laughs> Are you talking to him? Uh. Well, hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddies. Hey, bud. Horns? Horns. Yeah. Hey there. Hey, 
buddies? Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, you. You cute. But his horns. But you talking to him? Buddies. Goodbye, chickens. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. So here we go with the sound issues again. Um, so this is the sack of suds where the boys pulled up to get some snacks while they were on their trip. Um, and where he stuck that can of tuna in his pocket that he was later caught with. Um, the store inside looks nothing like it did in the movie. Um, but they do have a cool merch section with t-shirts and little gifts and stuff from the movie. Um, pretty cool little spot. Yeah, the owner was really cool too. Um, he's, he's actually pretty pleasant to talk to if you ever stop by. Um, he was telling us stories about people that had come from different countries um, just to come see that filming location. Um, that was pretty impressive. Really nice guy, um, lots of stories to tell. Um, this spot over here is where the boys parked their car and ran up on the curb. You can see other people have done it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the sack of suds for you. Alright guys, over here is the hotel where um, one of the opening scenes was filmed. Well, not opening scenes. One of their first hotel scenes was filmed. Um, this was, I believe, the first hotel that they stayed at when they came to help the boys. Um, and this is where the, the pigs woke them up in the morning. This is the old Bostwick Hotel. Um, I can't remember the year. Oh, 1902. Established 1902. Yeah, and it is now the City Hall here in Bostwick. Hey guys! Well, I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our journey today um, to see where My Cousin Vinny was filmed and revisit where Fried Green Tomatoes was filmed, one of my favorite restaurants. Um, but yeah, make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, you know, hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos. Leave us some comments. Give us some ideas of where we can go next. Um, we pr pretty much stay like around Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida probably will be coming up next. Um, but yeah, throw us some ideas. Yeah, we need ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until we can make it big time and start flying to like locations like some of our fellow YouTubers, that would be awesome. But I can't wait for that day. Someday. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Hopefully soon. <laughs> I at least want to go to Astoria, Oregon. But we'll see. Hopefully maybe this year. <laughs> And he laughed. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, until next time, thanks for coming along with us. Bye. Bye. There's a chime that says what, it all. What's the name of the movie? I forgot. It just went My blank. My cousin me. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, thanks for coming along with us on our journey today. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Ha, ha, ha.